and they and they down with the so-called white man system, man. When the chip comes out, uh, two thirds of our people they gonna take the chip, man. Right. All right. What, which is the mark of the beast, man? Because wh when you look at it, our people, our people are down with the with the so-called white man's wickedness, man. The new face of homosexuality and the transgender movement is Negroes and Latinos, man. Yep. The new face of the American military is Negroes and Latinos, man. The face of drugs, Negroes and Latinos. Verse 11, for this cause, the most has shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Verse 12, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Right, man. So our, lo our people love being wicked, man. Okay? That's it on that. What? That's a badass piece. Yeah. Go ahead. Where are you left? Oh, you got some? Yeah. Bring it out. Just real quick. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should, should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Go ahead, I'll break it down. Yeah, like, we, were talking, we just got to um, Satan and how um, these niggas gonna flock down to the chip and shit. That's because you niggas not listening to the man of the Lord, man. And, and you niggas are, are ignorant and y'all gonna fall for Satan's devices, man. But the man of the Lord, the 144,000 he's elect, they're not gonna fall for none of that bullshit. The white man, these fucking heathens gonna bring to them, man. Ain't gay Satan, man. Kind. No, no, I said it back. This book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 6. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against Yahweh. Right, we just read we just read that in Thessalonians, man. He opposes and exalted himself above, above all that is called God, man, and that is worship. And we just read in, 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 uh, in, in um Isaiah uh, in Isaiah 14 how it says that he that he uh, shall be like the most high, man. He exalt himself above the stars of the God, uh, of, of God, man. Alright, go ahead. To blaspheme his name mm -hmm. and his tabernacle mm -hmm. and them that dwell in heaven. Right, man. To blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven, man. And the Most High dwells amongst Israel, man. We're the tabernacle, okay? All right. He, he blaspheme. He blaspheme against uh, them that that are in heaven, man. We just, I just quoted uh, Job uh, nine and twenty four, man. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, and he covered the face of the judges thereof, man. So the Most High, Yahweh Shai, okay, and the angels, and, and the Israelites, man. He done whitewashed their faces, man. Okay, the true kings and judges of the earth. All right, and that's blasphemy, okay. He always blaspheme against the Most High, man. There is no God, but if there is, I am he. Go ahead. Verse 7. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Right, man. It's, it was given him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, man. And that's been happening, man. That's happened that's going back to the Greeks and the Romans, man. All, all the way up until now with the Renaissance. You had Christ Christopher Columbus, you had the Con Conquistadors, you had the Transatlantic uh, trade, trade Slave, man. You had 70 AD. Going, you know, going back again, all right? And he still make war with the saints, man. He still does, man. Biological war, okay? He poisons our communities, man. Psychological war, okay? He's still doing it, man. That's right. Okay, and the saints, the saints are the Israelites, man, so you can understand, man. And he overcomes them, and, and look, at, look, we are, we are yet to stay in our captivity. Go ahead. Verse 8, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life. Right, man, whose names are not written in the book of life, man. All kindreds and nations and tongues, okay, he, he had dominion over them, man, all right, because he's the chief power structure on the planet earth, all right, and, and, and whoever's not written in the book of life, he just read in Thessalonians, man, how, how, how our people are deceived by the so-called white man. All right, and how they follow his ways, how they follow the devil, man. Okay, they're not, uh, the two-thirds of our people, they're not written in the book of life, man. Be and that's why they worship him, man, because they have not been sealed from the foundation of the earth, man. Through the blood of Yahweh Shai, who was slain from the foundations of the earth, man. He was already pre-selected to die for the elect of the nation of Israel so the rest of the nation could come back, man. Go ahead. Oh, and, and, and.
and that that goes for you heathens, man, because y'all y'all mimic the so-called white man too, man. All right, y'all not y'all not written in the book of life, man. Y'all not gonna inherit the kingdom of heaven. Y'all going into slavery, man. Hardcore bondage, man. That's right. Whose names are not written in the book of life mm -hmm. of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. Verse nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Verse ten. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right, man. It says. It says in verse nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Okay, it's sarcasm, but really it's, it's supposed to be a symbolic or metaphoric, man, because the, the ear is what lets you interpret and comprehend sound waves, man. All right? So Hebraistically, he, with the, when you put it in a Hebrew perspective, it says if any man ha have comprehension, if, if you can comprehend this, let it be comprehended, man. Okay? If you can get it, get it. All right, so that's for the elect, man. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, man. All right, so so the so-called white man, all right, and his various power structures and rulerships, he put us in captivity, man. He just put us in captivity. Y'all going into captivity, man. That's right. Where y'all killed us with the sword, y'all gonna be killed with the sword, man. All right, and the ledger it, it goes back, uh, if I'm correct, to to Matthew's. Uh, I think it's uh, the 20th the 20th chapter. I think the 42nd verse, if you don't mind, brother. Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 26. No, 26. 26 and, and, and 52. Mm -hmm. okay. This is the book of Matthew, chapter uh, 26, verse 52. Then Yahweh shine, then say Yahweh shine to him, put up again thy sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Right, all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Right? And Esau's blessing with the sword. So he's gonna be perished, he's gonna perish by the sword, man. And the Lord said that his sword shall be bathed in heaven, man. So he saw the so-called white man has nuclear destruction to look forward to. Alright? He had he has enslavement to look forward to. And he has and he has uh, being killed by the men of the Lord, the elect, to look forward to with the sword, man. Right, man. Okay, hold that, hold uh, go back to Revelation and hold it. We have something back. This is Psalms 37 and, and 28. Mm -hmm. For the most high love is judgment. And, and forsaken not his saints, they are preserved forever. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. Yeah, man. The seed of the wicked is Esau. He's going to get cut off forever. And, he, and the Lord, he's going to preserve his, his elect, man. With all this, all this hell that Esau, they bring it upon, they're they going to get that judgment. That, that, that blessing was the sword, and the Lord, Lord he's going to use the sword to destroy them. That's right. Come on. Come on. You got something up? Go ahead. This is Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou had a, per, a perpetual hatred and had shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Verse 6. Therefore, as I live, says the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood. Even blood shall pursue thee. Yeah, the, the white man, the so-called white man, he, he got a perpetual hatred against these people on the sign, man. He throws that to the Native Americans. Where perpetual is an um, everlasting hatred, man. And the Lord said, because you you always been chasing these people, he gonna get your ass, man. You try to commit genocide on these people, the Lord gonna commit genocide on, on the nation of Edom, man. Thus says the Bible, man. Uh, Book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Right, man. So the saints, okay, which are the elect, they're looking forward to putting the so-called white man in chains, man. All right? They're looking forward 
uh, for Esau to be taken out of power and the Most High to give him the judgment by the sword, man. All right? Go ahead. Verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. Right, man. And this beast coming up out of the earth is part of that old beast, but it's, a, it's, it's almost a separate beast in itself. And that's talking about America, man. It had two horns like a, like a lamb, talking about the two political parties, the Democrats and the, Republic, and the Republicans, man. Go ahead. And he spake as a dragon. And he spake as a dragon, man. Okay. So that's that high, high Galian dialect, man. You know, the Republicans make it sound sweet. Democrats make it sound sweet, man. Make it sound peaceable. Make it sound like it's going to benefit. That's but right. really, it's all lies, man. That's right. Okay? It's all dragon serpent talk, man. Serpent it's fucking lies, man. Subtility. Subtility, man. man. Deception. That's right. So they can move the population's mind and their, and their worldview so they can accomplish their agenda, man. That's right. Con, uh, yeah, just to expound on that, like, that's why I got all these... Uh, Women lived rights. I was watching the Aaron Russo, that's why it reminded me. You know, they were like, oh, you know, give women rights so they can vote, and they can work, equal, equal pay. But that's not what uh, Nick Rockefeller um, said that was the agenda. It was to make sure to get more taxpayers, okay, on the, on, the, on the ticket, as well as so they could take control of your kids. Because the mother used to raise the children. Now that their mother's working, who's raising the children? The state. So they could raise the children according to what they deem that children should be believing in, which is now all this wicked ass shit from homosexuality, transgender, okay, bullshit democracy, all right. So that that was the, the whole agenda, but they did it subtly by saying, "Oh no, give women's rights, equal pay, and all that bullshit." And y'all women fell for that shit. Like this, Lord ain't dealing with y'all. But you know that's the, that was prophecy, man. All right, and that was really to get our, at our people, man. Mm -hmm. So our, so our people, our, our the women of our people, could get into women's rights and women's liberation, all right? And then, you know, Planned Parenthood, abort your kids, okay? So so they could wipe out our people, and so that they could draft more women into the military, man. Population control, Population control man. Because the men were getting tired of fighting wars with no purpose, man. This is Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words are softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Yeah, so whatever the white man tell you, man, the so-called white man, he gonna come to you in a sweet way. But in the in the back, in the back of his mind, that sweet way is a way to um, fucking destroy yourself, man. Like, like allowing all these fucking faggots and lesbians, man. Because some of these faggots and lesbians, they be swinging both ways, man. So what they gonna do? Go back to their partner and bring them a fucking STD or some shit, man. Right, man. And then that partner, probably heterosexual, the the relationship ends, and they go get to get with another heterosexual opposite sex partner, and then they pass the disease around, man. See how fucked up this shit is, man? This is Psalms 52 and 2. Thy tongue divide, uh, devises mischief like a sharp razor, worketh deceitfully. Thou loveth evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Yeah, that's, that's going to uh, Esau, when the brothers say like they're like a dragon, the serpent tongue. You know, with the, the Democrats and the Republicans, but they all, it's towards evil, it's towards their um, so-called New World Order and shit, man. And they push out that wickedness, man. It's all lies. That's why you can't trust Esau, the so-called white man, man. That's right. You can't trust him. Yeah. Say this, uh, and I've been peeping, I don't know if it's just me, but I've been just, you know, analyzing the vibration, man, and, and it, it's, you know, it's, I ain't gonna say it's good and bad, but, like, we done eased up off of Jake, you know what I'm saying? Because we done, hey, Jake, y'all done, man. Done. You know what I'm saying? Done. Like, now we finna do the, 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 the real dirty work, man, which is bringing down this so-called white man. That's our real enemy, man, not y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already, it's already been written. Y'all judgment already been written. But now it's time to take the so-called devil out of his seat of authority, man. That's right. Yeah. So you, 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 uh, you eat them, white, white people, man. Y'all finna catch hell from here on out, man. That's right. That's right. It, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna get good for y'all until y'all exterminated, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Period. Point blank. Uh, yeah. uh, and as, a, as the scriptures say, uh, as the scriptures say, it's it's that whore, that great whore that make everybody drink that cup. So yeah, two thirds of our people, they, they go off and we know what's gonna happen to them. But Esau, you the one who made them drink that cup. 
what has been the destruction you done put on them or what is make them go off all these philosophies and being homosexuals. Y'all make the whole, the so-called white people, y'all make the whole world drink that, that, that cup, man, which ain't nothing but wickedness, man. That's right. But the Lord gonna make you drink that cup. He gonna make you drink the dregs of it, man. That's right. Kind man. Hey, hey man. Hey, hey, yeah, we in the time of exposing Esau, man. Yeah. And, and, and it's been in the spirit, man. You're right. It's been in the spirit, man. We don't. We don't talk about you know Jake enough. We don't. We. Which we you know we gonna, we gonna still. We yeah. still gonna get on you niggas. You know we still gonna. Us. You know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know we still gonna get on y'all. But you know, you ain't it, off the hook, motherfucker. You ain't off the hook, you know. The most high ain't gonna let you go without the ass whooping first, right, you know. Right. And you know, and, and you know, Jake, before they whoop your ass, they gotta, they gotta, they gotta patronize you with the words, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. They got, they gotta make you feel like shit. You know, you fucked up, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They gotta you know you laugh. <laughs> they gotta tell the story over and over again. Mm -hmm. Okay, they gotta get into the details. I'm sure all the Levites know. <laughs> okay, in the camp. And then they finally whoop your ass, man. So you ain't off the hook yet, Jake. Okay, you ain't. We ain't done with you yet. We just taking. You know, we just taking the lead to you know curse out this damn devil. Man. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, but that, that's um, that's all a spiritual thing. Like the brother said last week, um, that could just tell you that the elect is damn near sealed, man. Right. That's why we not on Jake no more like that, man. Cause the elect is all a spiritual thing. We don't do what we want. We do what the Lord programmed us to do, man. Right. Uh, this is the book of Lamb. Uh, that's why last week when that nigga came up talking that bullshit, we ain't we ain't here to discourse with no niggas. That's right. We gonna get you the fuck away from us, man. Why? Cause we, hey, like like the brother said, man, the, the spirit got us dealing with the white man, that big fish that we trying to fry right now. We ain't got time to deal with niggas. Nigga ain't got no uh, 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 substance, man. No, none. none. No well with all, man. The motherfucking UK left the EU, man. And niggas talking about Rick Ross is his favorite rapper and shit, man. <laughs> you niggas lost, man. The dollar could collapse any day. Right. We, we ain't dealing with you niggas, man. We, hey, right. we dealt with you, and we still gonna tell you your judgment. But we got bigger fish to fry, man. Yeah, niggas ain't talking about nothing, man. Niggas ain't trying to get into no history. Ain't trying to get into, into no prophecy, no current events. Like, nothing of, nothing of substance, yeah. man. You know how much you know how much studying brothers done put in, you know, and we come out here, man, to speak to our people and our people on straight bullshit, man. We got we gotta we gotta come down to the to you know to a level or just not deal with you at all, man. We would rather have Esau come up here to debate with us because at least he probably got you know some shit to say, man. Got some substance. He got some substance, man. A Moabite and Ammonite or Ishmaelite, they probably got some fucking substance. You niggas ain't got no goddamn substance, man. Y'all don't seek wisdom, man. There's the Book of Lamentation, chapter four, verse twenty-one. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us the cup also shall pass through uh to thee right man live it up man this is this is your last you know this is your last hoorah man okay this is your last parade throughout the planet earth as being the chief the chief authority man okay that that includes russia too okay because y'all edomites you know we rooting for you to destroy america but fuck you too man that's right that's right it's so sick. Most hot, roughly say that and what that is. Is it you the yeah. very chapter? Yeah. You know? Yeah, we he using you to tear down Babylon, but hey, yeah. your ass gonna be destroyed too, man. Yeah. Hey. You just the mighty man to eat them. That's all that is. You know, we might throw you a few bones in the kingdom, you know, have you in some kind of, you know, arena coliseum, the Russian specials in there, you know, fighting lions and shit, man. Throw you, you know, a couple crumbs of bread yeah. off my fingers fighting, after I'm done eating. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Taha say, hey, when we said that one time, we went off. But Taha say, nah, these fucking devils, you eat them while you slaves, y'all not eating good, man. Y'all getting the, the worst of the worst, man. Just the bare necessities, man. Just so you can go do that good work, baby. That's right. We ain't eat good, and, and we build up America. For real. Right. You know? For real. That's right. Being us live. Okay. And, and was able to build up all this shit. Being us swine. Huh. In captivity, man. Hey, and they're going to have it worse than us, man, because the, the shit that they was giving us to eat 
and we had to make something out of it. They consider that shit delicacy now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. eat. Uh, will eat that and, and come back two weeks later, swole as fuck, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you ain't gonna be eating. <laughs> you ain't gonna be getting down like we was getting down, cause you know, you know, Esau, you know, you you got some skills in the kitchen, but not really, man. Not really, man. It's gonna it's gonna be you know, goat toenail soup and, and, and you know. <laughs> And, no. egg, and eggshells and, and you know sweat and mucus, bro. It and, gotta be worse than that. I cut that cracker oh, Zimmer. Yeah. He go around eating that bullshit now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, moose knuckle soup and all that type of foolishness, man. Oh, that's, so that's too much hey. protein. Right. Yeah. Okay. We are gonna have to go. Yeah. Hey, them them Edomites yeah, natural. Them Edomites from the beginning natural minerals from the earth. That's what they eat. Dirt, man. That's the <laughs> fuck they get. They get their vitamins from dirt. Whatever the sun beam on. On the ground, that's what they eat, the dirt and rocks, man. <laughs> God. Like hey, remember how Esau had us in the hot box, right? And we were sweating our ass off? We gonna put you in the hot box in the kingdom. It's gonna have it's gonna have it's gonna have a strainer at the bottom to strain all the sweat, and we're gonna use that sweat to make soup for you to drink, bruh. Alright? We ain't gonna go to no, we ain't gonna go to no river and pull out the water for your bitch ass because you put fluoride in our shit, man. That's right, right. okay? That's so you worse than drinking your own sweat. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah we'll put, you know, we gotta put some other shit in there, right. you know. But yeah, man. Yeah, by the by the sweat of your brow shall you live, man. What's his, what's his name? The dude? Zimmerman? What's his name? Uh, Andrew Zimmer. Zimmer. Yeah, he tell you, yeah, you take your piss and dry it out. And uh, dry it out in the sun and you, know, you can drink it. Or make a or uh, I done seen him do it. He took the piss and he boiled a rat in it to eat. <laughs> so that's y'all could y'all could do that in the kingdom, Dan. Y'all own mouth is, has fallen upon yourself. Y'all done showed us that, that y'all down for it. So y'all be y'all could uh, have rat stew, rat rat piss stew. Nah, the, but they gonna we gonna have to we gonna have to make them keep the laws though. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. That's so right. You ain't that's gonna right. be eating no rats. That's right. Okay. We ain't gonna do you like that, <laughs> yeah. but but it's gonna be something though. It's gonna be something. You know, we just meditating. You know, yeah, yeah. the juices flowing, <laughs> man. Yeah, no rats. <laughs> Go ahead, let's get back into the scripture. Man. Go ahead, Doc. Uh, this is verse 22. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Right, man. This is our last captivity. Esau, you going into captivity, man. You're going to drink the cup. Okay, the cup of, of the most high's wrath that was given unto us, all right, that we weren't supposed to drink, you're gonna drink it, man. All right? And that's and that's gonna be, the, and after a thousand years, we're gonna burn your ass up and it's gonna be the end of you, man. That's, that's right. right. That's right. This is, um, this is Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy power will, will put all these curses upon thy enemies on them, on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Go ahead, read that again, huh? This is, this is Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Alright, started. 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 You know what? No, that's good. Yeah, man. Uh, that Deuteronomy 30th chapter, man, it says when we return unto the Most High, the Most High gonna put all the curses upon our enemies, man, upon the upon the heathens that hate us, man. And that's gonna happen in the kingdom, man. In the kingdom, we're gonna be righteous, we're gonna have incorruptible bodies, we're gonna have the laws written in our inward parts, man. So right. these curses gotta come come to pass upon all you other nations, man. And that's how you know, that's how you know when it when the scriptures say uh, about Abraham and Galatians and in various other scriptures that in thee shall all nations be be blessed. That's how you know that's only talking about Israel, man. Because right. in the kingdom, you you other heathens, you other nations gonna be under fucking curses, man. That's right. Or well, give me, I will give you the heathen for thine inheritance. And exactly. Hey, man. Hey, ain't no getting around the scriptures, man. Right. Ain't no getting around the scriptures, man. Ain't no getting around the, the wisdom of the Most High, the doctrine of the Most High, man. Ain't no getting around it, man. All right. You try to come up against you against it, you gonna get cut. All right. Sliced up, man, and we all love doing it too. Right? I get a kick out of it. I don't That's know about right. anybody. I get a kick out of it. Right. You got something, Mark? Go ahead. Uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse uh, 12. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him. Right, he exercised all the power of the first beast before him. And when you go to that word exercise in the blue letter, it's to execute, man. All right, so America, which is this, which is this beast that came out the earth with two horns like a ram and spake as a dragon, 
that's the, that's the nation that the, that NATO uses to, to execute their judgments and their authority and their agenda across the planet Earth, man. Go ahead. And he causes the earth and them who dwell therein to worship the first beast. Right, man. Okay, like I like we like we've been going into, like I said already, like brother said a million times, man. And in the past, you know, however, however many minutes or hours we've been out here, man. Okay, America is 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 what these Edomites use in their power structure uh, to go around the earth and push the philosophies of the first beast, which is NATO, man, and Rome, man. All right, so everybody could be down with their system, and when they go up, when they go up against it. They, they, their rulers and their and their authorities get taken out of power, and then all of a sudden, a central bank in their country. What happened to Iraq? Look what happened to Iraq. Look what happened to look what happened to uh, to Libya, man. Look what happened in Egypt, man. Look what happened in Venezuela. Whose deadly wound was healed, verse 13. And he doeth it, doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Right, man. And when did that start? That started, that started, uh, well, it's, you know, it started a little bit prior, because Esau, you know, had those various missile technologies before World War III, before Nagasaki and Hiroshima. But that's a great example, man. World War III, when they dropped those bombs on those two Japanese cities, man. Because they wasn't, they wasn't uh, down, man. Blew, they, blew those cities right off the fucking map, man. And that still goes on today, man. Still goes on today. Go ahead, brother. And that, yeah, in World War II, when, when um, Esau dropped them bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, that's when all the nations were like, yo, America, you're going to be the policeman of the world. You're going to be the one running shit, okay? Because uh, you, you guys are just... You're just, you're just wild man. We ain't fucking with y'all. Right. You know what I'm saying? Say this, and mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, when they uh, they, they declared that, they, okay, y'all yeah. gonna be the policemen, they knew that uh, Japs, who was it? Japanese, Japanese, Japanese yeah, the yeah. Japanese surrendered yep. prior to them dropping them bombs. Mm -hmm. So they knew, yeah, y'all some fucking savages. Yep. Hard, man. America goes around the world, you're not down with their policies. We, we doing airstrikes, we dropping bombs. We're doing chemical attacks, all that, man. They find some resources that they want. They'll say, hey, we need to bring democracy to that land. Meaning we got to bring some bombs. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's what democracy is. Yeah. Ace bombs. Ace bombs, yeah. And look, that, the place where they bombed, where they dropped the bomb at, man, that was civilians. And it was a high uh, Christian Japanese population there, man. And the only military, only military uh, uh, avenue that was there was uh, the intelligence uh, uh, building, and that was underground itself. God, God, man, and, and, hey, man, I found this precept in Jeremiah, uh, the, uh, the, the 50th chapter, verse 23, it says, How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations, man? So the scriptures describe Babylon, which we know to be America, through studying the scriptures as the hammer of the whole earth, man, as the police force of the whole earth that goes and busts these other nations up, man, if they don't want to be down, man. God bless you, everybody. God bless you.